What's up, bikers? I'm Johnny Thompson from Fit for Racing, home of strength and conditioning for extreme off road bike sports athletes. And today we are talking about the kipping pull up and how to do it correctly. So, this is a technique video. If you're not bothered about how to do a kipping pull up, then turn off now. If you are, continue watching. So, from the top, Nice and briefly, why do we do a kipping pull-up? Well, basically, it's a nice, fast movement for metabolic conditioning. For after intensity, using the hips is absolutely allowed, encouraged, so that then it's a whole body movement. We have done a previous um, little explanation about the pros and cons of kipping pull-ups and different types, so go back and watch that if you haven't seen it. Otherwise, stay tuned on this one and we will talk about the traditional kipping pull-up, my favorite for you guys for many reasons, so let's get on with it. So it looks like the kipping pull-up is all about a swing. In reality, that's not true. As soon as you start swinging, you lose that rhythm and you're unable to get the timing right to be able to do the movement correctly. So as soon as you start swinging out of control, hop off, start again, start at stage one. We're breaking the kipping pull-up into three movements. You have to nail each one sequentially before you move on to the next. Otherwise, there'll be a lack of control, you'll get frustrated, and you're basically not doing any decent movement. You may as well stick to strict pull-ups. I'll show you a variation of this at the end if you really struggle, but you still wanna crack on with some strength and conditioning style workouts. So stage one is the hollow extension hanging from a bar under control. So this is hips forwards, and then closing the shoulder a little bit, nice poppy movement and that control has to be you have to be able to stop it at any stage without any kind of swing so practice that and practice stopping if you stop dead and you can control it there great you can move on to the next stage if you stop and you have a slight swing or a big swing then hop off try again until you get that stage nailed stage two is then a little bit more thrust of the hip. So we're just exaggerating that first controlled movement into a more thrust of the hip and a closing of the angle of the shoulder. If you look, my arms haven't bent yet. It's all about lats and shoulders pulling the bar down straight armed in front of me to get almost a parallel position with my body against the ground. Once you've nailed that power, you can move on to stage three, which is simply a pull and a push against the bar. So you're going for a chin over bar pull up. Now stage two, the height of those hips and the angle of the shoulder, you then keep that at the top while you do a pull to the bar and a push back off and then release the tension and start this fluid motion again. You will likely nail one kipping pull up and then drop down, lose that tension and have to start again so be it. So this is a lot about timing. If you can, and you are consistently getting one kipping pull-up, try and hold your body on your hips up nice and close to the bar where you left it at the first and second stage of the movement. Then pull quickly, chin over bar, push back. So it's really important there that you push back at about 45 degree angle and then let go of the tension to start the movement again. So if you struggle with all of this and you get very frustrated, then practice, practice, practice stage one. And if you want to do it in a workout, kipping pull-ups, go to jumping pull-ups from a box. This demonstration here shows that the movement is very similar. So it's a whole body movement, but you're just getting the rhythm and this will actually help you find the rhythm when the box is removed. You can do banded pull-ups and other variations, but this is the preferred for intensity workouts. So you don't have to get in and out of bands and set up other equipment. You just hop on the box and you get that nice fluid motion of the hips and your chin over bar. And the more proficient you get, the less size box you have and the less help you have on the jump towards the bar. So that's basically it for the kipping pull-up. We hope that you can now integrate that into your training. Practice, 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 stage one, two, then three, but don't neglect strict pull-ups. So strict strength will also help your kipping, not so much vice versa. The kipping pull-up reserved for metabolic conditioning workouts, so that's super high intensity stuff where you're alternating between movements. So. 
Don't neglect the other elements, but do practice and try and integrate kipping pull-ups into your training. If you have any questions or requests for other technique videos, please get in touch. And until next time, peace. One, two, three. Listen. Listen.